Hi everybody, welcome to the Dice Must Flow and uh, today I'm going to be working on the uh, Scientist tripod. Uh, it looks a little different than some of the other tripods because it's uh, a lot of black metal but um, I'm probably going to paint it a little different than that and uh, take a look here is the, the details. Um, I'm going to go with the, the black metal look and just the normal silver on the sides and the, my typical brass uh, with the three uh, colored eyes. So, um, you know, to start this, it's pretty easy. You can just buy a regular s silver or whatever spray paint. But I I'm just using the GW uh, Air Lead Belcher. And uh, we're going to go with trying to put a, a coat on here. So we're going to pour some in. And, of course, this bottle is empty. Okay, we're going to start again with pouring some paint in. There, not not a whole lot, just uh, enough. We'll probably I don't like wasting it, so we'll just go with uh, that. It's on my airbrush here. Make sure that we get some. We're getting some spray. And so, just kind of. covering the whole thing. Poured back the paint in that I had thinned a little bit, it's a little bit of airbrush thinner, and um, you see we go. That seems to be working a little better. Second coat on the top. We'll turn it upside down. Now in my case, since I'm going to do the black metal, um, I'm just trying to get a good base coat on this and uh, see how it goes from there. Uh, Alright, so I think I got a good coat on here, maybe even too much. You can start seeing it cool a little bit. Hopefully that will dry nicely. And now we're going to uh, just try and pick up some highlights uh, with the roof fang steel. We're going to go ahead and be painting most of this black up here, so we really don't need to, to do with that. So um, we're just going to add the highlights. Of course, I ran out of uh, recording space right as I was recording, uh, adding the highlights. But basically, we hit the rune fang steel just on the legs and, and a little bit underneath. Um, it's almost hard to even see probably with the camera but uh, it did pick up a little bit of highlights along here. So our next step, we're just going to go and um, add uh, the Nuln Oil and picking up the, using the gloss, Nuln Oil gloss, um, keeps, the good, keeps it a good metallic look. Um, and we'll use this on the, on the legs. So, um, I'm just going to pour something into my palette here and close the lid so I don't spill it all all over the place. I have a tendency to knock these bottles over.
Okay, so now that once we have the gloss null oil put on, we're going to just go ahead and put a regular, start with the regular null oil, uh, the non gloss version, uh, just basically the whole top and the whole. Under, underside the whole the whole head of the, the unit. Now this is going to take probably three coats of this, maybe more. We'll see how it goes. I don't want it on too thick. So there's our first coat. We're just going to let this dry, come back, put a couple more coats on. 